y'all this is VGS coming to you with another installation video I have been asked by our subscribers to do a fallout 4 script extender installation video and I'm going to show you the quickest the simplest way to do it sort and simple no rant no saying anything else so let's go ahead and jump into it in the description you will see two links or maybe three if I decide to put this link right here into the description because it's going to be on one of the links so what you want to do is you want to see Fallout 4 one time 1.69 point current build 0.2.0 seven archives. So what you want to do is just click on this little thing right here. When you download it, I already have downloaded. I'm gonna be downloading it, and I'm gonna reinstall it. So you need WinRAR or 7-zip. WinRAR will be in the description. You want to download WinRAR times 64, 64-bit, 64 5.40, beta 4. Download this one right here. Don't download this one because unless you got a 32 bit, that's up to you if you have it. Then you, if, excuse me, if you want to have your certain language, whatever, if you live in France or Germany or Finnish, or, I'll probably just butcher your language, my bad. Uh, Portuguese, Russian, like you just pick the one you have. But always pick 64 bit unless you're using a 32 bit. So after you get done with that, you want to click right here and drag it to your desktop right here. And so you have this on your desktop. Now the next thing you want to do is go to your Fallout 4 folder. So you want to open this up, go to a C drive, go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, and then you scroll down and you'll try to find your game that's right here, Fallout 4. So I do have an EMB installed from the old video. I haven't we really uninstalled it yet, so it's it's okay, you don't have to worry about the MP. So what you want to do now is just drag it to the side, click off. You want to open up the Fallout 4 script extended window. Most people would tell you to go ahead and let's say right click it and extract like this and it will open up a whole new file. So you can go ahead and get rid of that. If you want to, all you can just open it up. After you open it up, you have a couple of things in here. What you want to get out is these right here. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. You actually do not need the README or the control map. You only need these three files. So what you want to do is just hold and drag. And that's pretty much how you install Fallout 4 Script Extender. But I'm going to go one step farther and show you how to set it up so you don't have to create a shortcut every time you want to use a Script Extender with a mods. So what you want to do now and exit that out and launch Nexus Mod Manager. Uh, Fallout 4. And you will see I have no mods installed because I haven't played Fallout 4 in a good while. I just make my uh, installation videos. And you will see Fallout 4 right here, mods. But now you got a drop down menu. You want to click right here and say launch F4SE. Like make, a, make it a custom. And there you go. And it will launch. I don't want it to launch though. So. I will see you on Fallout 4. Okay, y'all, so now we inside Fallout 4 and it's loading up the EMB and all that kind of stuff that I was doing yesterday. I have figured out the EMB needs to be in um, Windows, full screen Windows if you want to. It'll be the same as regular full screen. It'll actually make your game a lot smoother if you're on Windows full screen than regular full screen. But I don't know why the EMBs are doing that at this point of time. I think it's got something to do with the EMBs itself. So. I will try to look into it and try to get to some of the EMB authors and see if I can explain this stuff to y'all. So, what you want to do, you will have all this on here. Now you just want to go to your settings. You will see this down here. If you got this down here, that means you installation. The installation was right, right. You did it right. So, if you want to check even farther now, you want to open up your command window. If you don't know where your command window is or, or command console, it's the right beside the one key. Just click that button, the title key, and there you go. You want to type in git f4se version and hit enter. And it will pop up right there Fallout 4 script extended version 0.2.0 release IDX1 runtime 01060090. That number right here may be different. I don't really know. It may be different for all computers for if y'all want it but this right here should be the same unless there's a newer version since you've been watching this video it would be like 0.2.1 or something for a newer version but right now 
the version is correct everything's working right I think this should be the same because this is talking about this down here which is not thought about that so everything's working correctly and you have script extender installed so I thank you for watching this video and please in the comments don't forget to like and tell me how I did on this video tell me if you like my installation videos I try to make it as simple as possible and try to answer as much questions in the video as possible if you have any problems with it I'm gonna uh, how do you start the video? I mean, how do you start the Fallout 4 script extender? You want to do the same thing to uninstall it. So you have three files inside the Fallout 4 folder. You just take those three files out, delete it, and there you go. Fallout 4 script extender is deleted. But you, now you don't have to make a uh, create a shortcut like most videos say. You have to create a shortcut. You just go through Nexus Mod Manager or Mod, Mod Organizer, whichever one you choose to use and just link the Fallout 4 script extender to those two programs so you can launch it through there every time you launch the game. Most, the thing about the Fallout 4 script extender right now, I know I'm going on a little information in the, the installation video is over, but just listen. When you install the new script extender, since the game is still being updated like, like a lot, your script extender may or may not break because the Fallout 4 script extender is not made by Bethesda, they're made by another group. So you have to make sure that the game is compatible with the script extender. When an update comes out, it could either break or it won't do anything to your game. So it's all it's all chance. So if your game starts crashing or doing some crazy things that it's supposed to do, and it's probably because of a script extender or a mod using the script extender, but a lower version of the script extender. So say a mod was running the right the beginning of Fallout 4 script extender now this one is the real updated one the real time one today time is the real one but all of them are real but this is the newest one so the mod may or may not work with the newest version of the script extender it was like when Skyrim came out with their script extender mods used it a lot but when it was updating the game all day kept on breaking the script extender and it took a good while to get the script extender to be uh, Stable. That was after the last patch came out for fucking Skyrim. So Fallout 4 still getting patches. So make sure you look at that kind of stuff. And I know this is a longer video than I was, uh, thought it was gonna be. So just make sure you always keep your sweep extended update. Check back every like four or five days because they really do upgrade. I mean update a lot on this thing. So do check back. The installation is an ax. It's always the same. The taking out is always the same. Just make sure you take out those three things and then throw the new ones in now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching today and I hope you subscribe and comment and go check out the other videos as being the links at the end of the video. So click on the boxes and you can watch the graphic mods and tutorials on how to install EMBs. So I thank you and have a great day.